What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. Got a live attack for you, um, Town Hall 12. I don't think I've done a Town Hall 12 live attack, as far as I can remember. Um, as you guys know, I'm involved in ESL, uh, which is going to be continuing on for the month of May. So be sure to, uh, if you're interested as a Town Hall 12 in joining my ESL team, uh, you can just drop a comment, I'll link you to the Discord server. Uh, but this month coming up, sorry to get off on a tangent, but this month it's actually in, um, it's at night for the US. So that's very encouraging because it opens up a lot of people to play uh, who have work or school in the morning. So it looks like it's going to be around 7 p.m. Pacific time as the start. Um, but check out the website, check out my Discord if you're interested. Uh, drop a comment below. But anyway, yeah. Um, this I don't typically record ESL just because I'm zoned in focusing during the actual war itself, but now that we have some time off, I'm over in Swarm Synergy with my 12, just getting some practice, and this is one of the bases that I will be hitting for this war. Um, fresh hit, good practice though because ESL is all fresh hit. Notice that both sweepers are pointed uh, out this direction, so I'm going to come behind them with dragons. Um, if this was an ESL war, you know, only one attack per player, so one attack per base pretty much. Might be a little more worried about the town hall, um, but I'm not going to worry about it too much for the purpose of this attack. The plan is this. I'm going to start with an E-drag right about here. Um, let it kind of get some chain bounces, get that archer tower, create the funnel on that side. I'm going to put a baby dragon here, let it kind of come down like that. And I'm going to put king and queen like that. Uh, spread the dragons around here. They're going to come through with the warden obviously. Uh, just rage them up right here. Don't have a poison. If it is like a heavy witch CC that could be a little bit of a nuisance. But um, that's kind of the risk you take on these attacks. Sometimes it's good to bring a poison, sometimes not. With E-drags typically poison's better. Uh, regular dragons you can get away with it sometimes. So I'm going to try to get away with it here without bringing a poison. Um, as soon as the dragons are right around, you know, I use the rage, use the warden probably, uh, starting to move in around this area. Um, also, by the way, I'm going to have my slammer coming in behind my heroes like here. Um, I'm not, actually, you know, it's a, I'm kind of debating should my slammer come in here or here. Actually, I'll put it in over here. I'll let the heroes take care of that side. I want to make sure I get in and get this stuff taken out. The dragons don't kind of bypass that too hard. So I'll put the slammer with the E-drag towards the beginning. Um, and then we're going to do rage, bats, freeze. Should be, It's going to be a little close because there's some other defenses right next to that inferno. But, you know, it might be kind of baiting us. But going to try to get that wizard tower multi-inferno taken out. And um, I think if that goes down, the bats are going to wreck this entire back end of the base and things just kind of should fall down. Town Hall, like I said, a little sketchy off to the side. Maybe the Queen will step in and get it. We shall see, but um, yeah, we're going to give this thing a, uh, a go and hopefully can can at least put up some high percentage, if not get the triple. So there's the army. I'm not a huge fan of bringing balloons on these attacks. Um, I just think they tend to die quickly. So not going to bring very many balloons here, just two. Uh, but got everything else. I always like to bring a few minions for cleanup to kind of latch onto some buildings for percentage. Always a good idea. Um, two rages, a freeze, and eight bats. So going very heavy on the bats. Big investment, but hopefully can pay off. Um, got the warden on air. Everything looking good. All right, let's give this thing a spin. Number eight. And just that. Here we go. Alright, so like I said, we will start off with the E-Dragon. Um, I want it to kind of come into the Archer Tower, so I'm going to drop it like right up here. See how this bounces. Okay, looking good. Good, going for the Archer Tower. Baby up here. Loon for the Troll Tesla. I wonder if there's another troll Tesla. Nope. Okay. Then we'll put down our king, queen, dragons. Good 
Everything looking good. Slammer coming in. Warden. Rage. Bats. Freeze. Queen ability. All depends how much value the bats get here. Town Hall is not down yet, which isn't good. Maybe the bats can help with that. Um, otherwise, the base is pretty much crushed besides the Town Hall. Got a bunch of dragons moving towards it. This one's looking pretty good here. If those dragons can get the Town Hall down. Um, got a Troll Tesla, Ice Golem. Start to drop some minions. Okay, Town Hall goes down. Got a ton of balloons. I think those are from the Slammer. Um, this thing's looking really good here. Too bad it's not an ESL war. Um, I'd love to save my triples for that, but okay, the loons might get in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, one of them fell on the archer tower. Okay, <laughs> I will take that. Um, still got the e drag. Okay, just went down. We still have two, uh, hopefully healthy dragons up, and then we'll kind of blitz this uh, as soon as that locks onto a healthier balloon. Yeah, we'll put some minions there. This one's going to be a triple, GG's. Um, bat value was very important for sure. We'll go ahead and play it back. Um, I was going to drop my... As I was moving to drop my bats, I kind of just hit the Warden's ability almost randomly. So we'll see if that got a whole lot of value. It's difficult to stay up with everything. Got someone else going live here. Um, but let's take a look at the attack. See what went down here. I didn't take too long at all. So E-Drag goes down, I actually was very fortunate, it steps up for this Archer Tower, which is what I wanted, and I think it gets some pretty good chain going into the base here off that Archer Tower. Yeah, it gets some hits on some of those other defenses, good value from that E-Drag for sure, then it kind of helps create the funnel. Um, got the Troll Tesla, there was actually one over on the left side, uh, so I guessed wrong there, putting the, the Loon over on the right there. Spread out the Dragons, um, and I think the Slammer probably got some good value as well because uh, it stayed up for pretty long it looks like anyway the king goes in hit his ability unfortunately he lures out the ice golems that was maybe kind of the trap of this base is it's easy to lure out the ice golems uh, from that side but I believe they kind of go over to the queen here so that works out good the dragons don't uh, get hit, caught up on them which really could have ruined things yeah decent wardens ability didn't cover all the dragons but covered a lot pop the queen over the ice golem so she goes down over there and then those top dragons try to take out the town hall but not gonna work uh, thing is though the bats just wrecking the back end getting air defenses eagle um, then they peter out towards the town hall but the slammer still has all its healthy loons plus um, got like four relatively low health dragons that move in for the town hall fast forward a little bit because it gets very close here with that dragon barely gets the town hall that would have been important because um, all these loons would have otherwise died and then it would have been up to the dragons to take out that archer tower. Probably still would have gotten it, but um, better safe than sorry. Yeah, these dragons actually, yeah, one's a little low, the other one's pretty high, so it would have been okay, I think. Um, but anyway, that will do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Always nice to get a triple, especially at Town Hall 12, on a fresh hit against a max base that's, you know, a decent design. Um, so anyway, that'll do it, and like I said, if you're interested in ESL, um, I'll go ahead and just throw the link in the... Uh, comment section of the video we'll do that um the link to my discord uh but the application for the team will be opening probably in about uh, a couple days so keep your eye out for that should be fun to watch the uh, teams from last month or from i guess this month for april compete in the uh poland qualifiers so that all being said thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time bisectotron out